Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. We got everything. Just dress outside of the box. Okay. Today's episode, I wanted to bring this special episode to you guys today just to break down. We're talking about Diddy. Yes. See, I've been seeing on social media a lot of people making these little minor excuses for Diddy and the things he did to people and not realizing how serious the seriousness in this case and the things that were going on. Now, what we tend to see a lot of people, they say, well, you know, that was the Cassie. What is what is he really being charged for? So they're trying to find all of these different excuses of really trying to attack the that Diddy is the monster. So today, the evidence has broken. More people, and they start to give you descriptions of the people. Now, what are you gonna say after this? Are you gonna still keep making these excuses for the monster? Are you gonna to try to make up these new lies just to cover up the fact that you don't respect women either? Let's jump into it and see what's going down and you guys let me know how you feel. Hello, I'm Carrie Paul with the National Victim Advocate. It's not easy for any survivor to come forward. Our culture doesn't believe survivors. It blames and questions them. Instead of showing support, many choose to enable abusers. The media runs stories asking why it took so long for survivors to come forward instead of asking what barriers exist. That's a fact. Facts, facts. We also don't equip law enforcement with the ability to handle sexual assault crimes. Lack of funding translates to lack of training. We have officers in the field that don't know what to say to a victim. And also an alarming amount of backlogged, untested kits. Prosecutors are, are focused on what they can prove in a case, and if so, how to do that at time of trial. Advocates and staff are stretched thin with growing caseloads in the criminal justice system. Most people don't know how the criminal justice works in general. There isn't enough staff or resources to adequately explain the entire process to every victim and survivor. Our culture works against victims and survivors every day, and abusers know this. Abusers work themselves into positions of power. Building a public image that is trusted and financially large enough to make people look away. Abusers are unfortunately very skilled at power and control, the foundation of abuse. They seek victims who are vulnerable, such as children, such as children. What? Their employees and their intimate partners, all who see a different version than the public does. All who rely on the abuser in some way. That's right. And for those that do come forward and aren't believed, face questions like, are you sure it happened that way? Were you drinking? What were you wearing? Excuses. All of this creates an environment that enables abusers to continue abusing them and future victims. To the survivors that have come forward despite not being believed at some point in time, your courage is like nothing we have seen before. We thank you for coming forward for yourself and all survivors. And lastly, I want all survivors that are watching this to know we believe you and we support you. Thank you. 
And just another thing, to the survivors out there, it's your legacy. It's not his legacy. It's about you. It's not about him. What he left back was just a whole bunch of deceptional things. What you're going to push forward with is a change for the future. Remember that. It's your legacy. And I'm going to bring you guys up to a part where people say that, oh, it was Diddy was just, it was um, people that just wanted to come to him for fame and this and that. No, what you guys don't understand in these, what we're about to hear is Diddy did this to a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old. So when I hear all these excuses about, oh, they're trying to make these like, these, these like just these crazy lies around just because they, they want to hide the fact that, you know, somebody at that statue, they feel like if you're at power, they're going to blame it on race or they, no, if you make these types of mistakes, it doesn't matter what color you are. It's not about your race. It's about a grown man sleeping with a nine year old and taking advantage of people by drugging them. That's what it's about. So wipe your eyes from all the nonsense you've been seeing on social media and use your heart to make your decisions and use your mind to really calculate and go over the evidence that's been presented that's what it's about let's jump into the next part about the people that really took their it took so much strength it took more strength in all those records that he made or he claimed he made for these people to come forward so you got to give these people some grace and stop being disrespectful to victims versus uh, this is, uh, these individuals were drugged with some sort of drug. That's, that was kind of the MO. Another instance, uh, this individual who was nine years old, the admission to this part, evidence on. Uh, okay, what we're about to see and understand is that everybody that was at the party was forced it's not about being drugged or you t you having a choice of if you want to drink or not. No, if you didn't drink what he had for you to drink, then you have to leave the party. That's showing that you was forced if you wanted to stay in the party to drink these drinks. Let's get into it. Um, one individual who was 22 years at the time um, she was assaulted said that uh, the, the typical MO at one of these parties that have been widely discussed um, in the press was that when when you were handed a drink and now we know that the drink is laced with something if you refuse to drink it you were kicked out of the party now, let that sink in for a minute I mean the admission to this party was that you had to drink this the chosen drink that was handed to you uh, and now we know that that in in most cases I would say 90 percent of the cases uh, these individuals were drugged with some sort of drug. That's, that was kind of the M.O. Another instance, uh, this individual who was nine years old at the time what? Uh, was uh, taken to an audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records. Uh, other boys were there to audition as well. All of them were trying to land a record deal. All of them were minors. Uh, this individual was sexually abused, allegedly, by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio uh, in the promise uh, to both his parents and uh, to him himself of getting a record deal. Um, another instance, another minor, uh, told allegedly by Sean Combs that he would make him a star, but he needed to visit with him in private about it away from uh, his parents. Once uh, they were in a private area, Allegedly, Mr. Combs made uh, the victim uh, perform oral sex upon him. Uh, another incident, uh, an individual 15 years old at the time flown uh, to New York City to attend a party, uh, was drugged and then taken into a private room, uh, allegedly in the presence of Mr. Combs, uh, where this uh, female individual minor was raped and then other individuals took turns raping her. Another individual, 26, at the time of the occurrence, uh, was picked up by, allegedly, by Mr. Combs and several other people uh, in a black SUV from the airport, uh, was given one drink in the SUV, and then literally woke up the next day not knowing what had happened, but with pain and damage to both her vagina He's a monster. and her anus. 
where she was then, she then went to the hospital. She was missing her underwear and her shoes. Another instance, an individual, uh, this time not a minor, uh, was attended a group dinner, allegedly with Sean Combs in Miami. Uh, she wasn't drinking because she was pregnant, uh, but she, whatever she drank at the table, apparently, at least according to her, was laced with something. She blacked out and she woke up in the same bed, again, allegedly, with Mr. Combs uh, in his uh, mansion in Miami. Her vagina and her anus were torn and sore. Um, and I could go on. I mean, literally, you, you, you're, you're sensing a theme here. It's, it's the same theme. Uh, and it all involves uh, some sort of drug. Um, one instance, an individual who was 20 years old at the time uh, was asked to attend, just saw her on the street, asked to attend a party in a hotel. Um, she was flattered, went to the party, was given one drink and doesn't remember anything else. Ultimately, uh, was so messed up, was went to the hospital where they found um, cocaine and this horse tranquilizer in her blood system. I want to give you a quote from a very young man uh, who told us over the phone about his experience and all the things that happened to him. Uh, he says allegedly at the hands of Sean Diddy Combs and his friends uh, in the effort to try to sign uh, a record deal. Uh, this was kind of what he was told he would have to do. His quote is, had he not been in power I feel like I could have been something great. I quit, I quit the industry because of what Sean Combs did to me. And that's really what it comes down to. We are pursuing this, asking you to support this effort, to encourage witnesses and victims to come forward and bring your evidence so we can continue to break down this wall of silence and we can continue uh, to have these stories heard. Um, this is the beginning of what I hope to be a national dialogue. This type of sexual assault, sexual abuse, and sexual exploitation should never happen in the United, St in the United States or anywhere else. This should have never been allowed to go on for so long. This conduct has created a mass of individuals who are injured, scared, and scarred. If you are one of those individuals, we ask you to reach out. If not to us, to someone you trust. If you are someone who witnessed any of these events, we ask you to reach out. Your name can remain confidential. Look, what we are hearing here is they already had enough evidence to take Diddy away for 20 years, but their sole objective here is to find some kind of solution for the victims. And that's commendable. I don't want to hear just because a person has this amount of money or that amount of money, they can do whatever you want in this world that we're living in. If that was the case, we all live at a shorter life. We have to wake up and see that there are bad people in this world and there are good people in this world. Whether they have money or not, it really doesn't matter. They're still going to be a bad or good person. So people have to open their eyes up for that type of stuff. I've seen a lot of people on social media trying to jump into the side of just taking, you know, light on they don't have enough evidence. Those are the people that really deep down inside, they don't really have any too much care for, you know, the victims out there and understand what this whole thing is about. I'm not going to blame it on all of them, but most of them that, you know, probably don't even know somebody that's been sexually abused, so they don't know what it feels like or even know how what that person is going through. All they can see is money is because that culture is what people feel like that's what makes them somebody the more money you get the more this the more that really when it's the more knowledge you have that makes you the king you really are but then you guys let me know what you feel down below in your comments in the comment section i feel like man the demons you know when it comes to karma man that 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 cut is so sharp man you don't even know you're bleeding in these times for all the people out there that's been sexually abused, healing energy goes out to you. And you just got to remember, it's hip hop and they're gonna, a lot of people are going to be doing the covering up. But just know that the world is bigger than that. And there are people that's just 
here for the culture, that real culture, and really want to see people get their just due and really want to see victims get out of that depression and trauma. So if you feel like I feel, subscribe and um, support the channel. I'm always going to bring you these conversations that might not be in everybody's interest, but for the people that really care, y'all are all here with me. All right. Love you guys. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.